ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ரம்யா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் சிஎஸ்சி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ரோஹினி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி சப்ஜெக்ட் கோட் ஓஇசி செவன் ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் யூனிட் டூ டாபிக் கார்டியாக் அவுட் புட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் டு நோ அபவுட் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் கார்டியாக் அவுட் புட் அண்ட் தியர் மெஷர்மெண்ட் கார்டியாக் அவுட் புட் மெஷர்மெண்ட் இட் இஸ் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் பிளட் டெலிவர்ட் பை த ஹார்ட் டு த ஆர்டோ பெர் மினிட் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ எ மேஜர் டிட்டர்மினன்ட் ஆஃப் ஆக்சிஜன் டெலிவர் டு த tissues when the supply of blood from the heart is unable to meet the demand here also the blood pumper from the heart with each beat for adults is between 70 to 100 ml and cardiac output is 4 to 6 liters per minute cardiac output is estimating by using the following methods direct method fixed method indicator dilution method di dilution method thermal dilution method first we are going to see the method direct method in this method cardiac output is measuring the stroke volume by the use of an electromagnetic flow probe placed on the artery and multiplying it by the heart rate this method also involves in surgery so not preferred in routine applications the next method is fixed method it is measured by continuously infusing oxygen in or out from the blood and also measure the amount of oxygen before and after passing the next method is indicator dilution method in this method it is one of the most popular methods and it employs several different types of indicators here you have two methods the first one is continuous infusion method but not widely used due to the indicator recirculation process the next one is bolus injection method that means it is the amount of blood known by the indicator using dye and it is administered into the circulation that means the cardiac output on chart is in the curve form that curve is called as a dilution curve then the run of the dilution curve is self explanatory for calculating the cardiac output from the dilution curve you have the formula q equal to m divided by average concentration of indicator per liter of blood for duration of curve into curve duration in seconds that is equal to m into 60 divided by area under the curve into 1 per minute here m represents the quantity of the injected indicator in mg q represent the cardiac output c represent the concentration of indicator therefore q equal to m divided by integral 0 to 1 c into dt then only you can able to find out the evaluation of the dilution curve is simplified by replotting the curve on semi logarithmic scale paper the next one is dye dilution method the most indicator substance is dye that is indocyanin green dye is usually employed for recording the dilution curve this dye is always preferred because of which property of absorbing light is 800 nm that means the concentration of cardio green is measured with the help of a infrared photocell transducer in this suppose if you want to avoid some formation of bubbles means a pot type tube should be flushed with a solution of silicon in ether then only you can able to get a short response time as possible for the sampling catheter here the sampling spray range has a volume of 50 ml per minute in this the output of the photocell is connected to a low drift amplifier then only you will get the high input impedance and low output impedance here the output of this amplification is directly proportional to the resistance value of the potentiometer r the next one is thermal dilution method it will produce a resultant temperature change in the pulmonary artery and the integral is inversely proportional to the cardiac output that means cardiac output equal to a constant in of blood temperature minus injector temperature divided by area under the dilution curve that means it is used for the range of injector temperature is measured to an accuracy of plus or minus 0.22 degree celsius and displayed on a meter here also the system calibration is based upon the use of an injection of 10 ml of 5 percentage dextrose solution at a room temperature in the range of 18 to 28 degree 
celsius here the reduction in the temperature of pulmonary artery is integrated with respect to time and the blood flow in the pulmonary artery is computed electronically by a computer it may vary from one patient to another over a range of 30 to 40 degrees celsius then only you can able to do the summing multiplication division operations required for the evaluation of cardiac output or performed by a simple computing circuit by a computer here we have one of our advantages it is used to avoid the introduction of fluids and thereby reduce the risk of fluid overload and stempesis the last one is measurement of cardiac output. Here three methods. First one is impedance techniques. Using this you can able to determine electronically by the impedance method. The next one is ultrasound method. It is used to measure the velocity of blood flow in the ascending aorta by the application of Doppler principle. Then the next one is bioreactance method. It is a method for non-invasive hemodynamic monitor. It is full and full based on bioreactance method. Thank you.